to, to note that the award is to be presented to the U.S. coach who has had the most and greatest impact on world level swimming. So you could see the um, uh, multiple winners up there, you know, led by Coach Schubert, Reese, and Bowman, um, and down the line. Uh, John or Banchek, you better get moving if you want to move up on that list, All right? I'm not saying your time is getting short or anything like that, right? But just saying, all right? Um, so these are our previous, you know, multiple winners. And now I want to talk about our finalists for the award for this year. So the first finalist, Coach Jack Bowerly, University of Georgia. Amazing having six different individuals win a medal uh, at the World Championships this past summer, uh, led by Olivia Smaliga and her gold in the 50 backstroke. Um, as many of you know, um, Jack's longtime assistant, Harvey Humphreys, is stepping aside. So it obviously begs the question of who's going to coach Georgia next time Jack gets suspended. So, <laughs> But you know, it's not so bad. You get suspended, you come back, you get a big raise. You win another championship, what a great gig. So, love you, Jack. All right, next finalist, Coach Ray Luz from Indiana. The great Lily King, of course, continuing her run of championships in the breaststrokes. And Relay Stalwarts, Peroni, and Zach Apple, who did a tremendous job to help our men's relays this past summer. There seems to be debate often among the coaches about really who has the greatest impact on performances in Indiana. Is it Ray? Is it the sprint coach du jour that they have coming through? Um, I really think it's his wife, Candace. Um, first of all, she's better looking, has better hair, and is way more sane than Ray is. But uh, as Arthur talked about the CEO, he's definitely, Ray is the CEO of Indiana Swimming, and They've had tremendous success NCAA and now at the world level for several years now. So congratulations to Ray. The next finalist is Coach Greg Meehan, uh, Stanford. Uh, obviously the, the amazing Katie Ledecky and Simone Manuel. Look at the performances and the awards that Simone uh, did this year. Katie Draybod, who was not even a 200 fly specialist coming out of high school. So an amazing job. Greg's been around on the deck for a while. Some of you um, remember him even when he was an assistant at Princeton. The thing I remember most is that Greg was always impeccably dressed and, you know, in his Princeton black and orange. And I just had this picture of the, you know, the Halloween candy, the candy corn, right? The orange and the black that no one eats. And that's what Greg looked like all the time. But he soaked it up and now he's resurrecting Stanford women swimming and, and congrats to him. Our fourth nominee is Coach Mike Parado, right? Um, Mike, George sort of explained a little bit why it seemed like every five or six years there'd be a Mike Parado sighting somewhere and, you know, it'd be in Indiana and then we wouldn't see him for a while and then it'd be Minnesota. Um, it seems like I saw him more often on a diving pool deck or in a diving stands than I did swimming for a while. Amazing performances, of course, with Reagan Smith and, and her two world records and, and leading, of course, the 400 medley relay um, to a gold this past summer. So congrats, Mike. And then the final uh, finalist is Coach Greg Troy. Um, I mean, look at that. Five golds, three silvers by one individual at the World Championships. One of the more phenomenal performances and. I think the history of, of uh, world championship swimming. Uh, tremendous job. Um, I, I don't know what Greg's status is. I don't know if he's part-time, semi-retired or whatever, but um, I, I'm picturing Greg being retired someday and I, I really can't picture it, but you know, if I visualize him in a retirement home and you know, after the 4.30 p.m. dinner is served, um, <laughs> Word spreads that um, Troy's got a keg coming into the ping pong room and um, let's all gather and, you know, chug a few beers and then Greg develops legendary status as 
the next day people talk about how he partied into the wee hours of 10 p.m., 11 p.m. And, um, anyway, hopefully that's a long time away, Greg. All right, we want to keep you going and keep you uh, uh, producing great swimmers for us. All right. So this year's winner, um, exciting for me because I do consider him a, a, a very, very good friend and I admire the heck out of him and his family, the coach of the year, Coach Mike Parado. to do that for my kids. I want them to see that. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you for all of that. Um, this is an amazing honor. Um, and obviously, you know, looking at all the, the people that are um, the past winners, and again, I get to say, I look at that list uh, over the years, and th those are all my coaching heroes. It's amazing to see that. And um, and then to see the, the coaches that um, were nominated this year, obviously, with their great swimmers, and they're all my coaching friends as well. But um, I really appreciate this. And no, no coach um, that gets this award um, gets it without having a, a great swimmer. And Reagan Smith this year, um, on top of a, all that great ability, is a great trainer, a very dedicated young lady. She put everything into this past year, um, just stepped forward in a, in a number of different ways. And then the, the results are, are what you saw at the World Championships this year. And um, I can't say enough about her and, and, uh, and the continued great future that she will have. Um, um, all I can say is, uh, again, th thank you, uh, ASCA. Um, thank you to the, the board uh, directors at ASCA. Uh, for um, viewing my year this, year, this way and, and, and uh, as a coach, and I, I really appreciate it. So thank you very much.